All right, so this one reads, solve the formula for the specified value. We've got z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. You're solving with respect to mu. Um, I mean, that's the same thing. For sure, that one could be there. But um, Anyway, uh, so if we multiply both sides by this sigma, um, another way you might know this language is if this is under a uh, the whole term, you can just kind of move. It's not just moving it. That's why I had that one there. I was going to illustrate that, but you can just multiply this over. It's the same thing as multiplying both sides by it. It's just kind of a different way to <coughs> visualize it. So anyway, so you get z sigma is equal to x minus mu and we're solving for mu so um, we can do this one of two ways we can move the x over and then multiply the whole thing by negative one on both sides to change the sign or we can just move this mu over because that would be adding so let's do that and then we just have one extra step. That was a terrible name. Yeah. So, um, so now we have z sigma plus mu is equal to x. And uh, to get that mu by itself, you subtract over this term minus z sigma minus z sigma leaves you with mu is equal to x minus c sigma. That's all there is to it.